Hello Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It helps the channel grow. Now I'm going to do a timeless spirit message. So whenever you hear this is when you are meant to see it. Or whenever you see it is when you're meant to hear it. Um, please remember it's a general reading. You can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity if needed. I'll just take these cards and see spirit. Please show me clearly. I'm going to turn these over because for some reason they're in the wrong way. Oop, they want that one. Okay. Right, let's see what we have here. We have to be fair. Now, this is a fair and just outcome. It could be you doing the right thing, somebody else doing the right thing. Uh, solutions being reached. It could be legal situations coming to fruition. But whatever's happening that's problematic, there's going to be a fair outcome coming in. Lighten your load. Now, it can be that you're dealing with a lot of things. Now, this could be a problem-solving issue that lightens your load. You could be carrying feels if you've got the whole weight of the world on your shoulders. Spirit is reassuring, them, reassuring you today there'll be a fair outcome to everything that's involved here or for everyone involved. And this means a balanced outcome. Okay, so legal situations coming to fruition that are fair for everyone involved here. It could be you doing, like I say, the right thing or somebody else doing the right thing. But whatever this is, this justice, this karmic justice that's coming in, this is equivalent to the justice card in the tarot deck. It's going to make things seem lighter. You're going to be able to progress here because this, for me, is equivalent. If you look at him, he looks like he's a ten, ten of wands energy. So your challenges are coming to an end here. Now, this crystal angel card, they're beautiful. It's the... the Citrine, please apologise for my pronunciation, Citrine, and it says here, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. And there's definitely solutions to your problems coming in. So don't worry unnecessarily about this. Don't put your own endings on things. Uh, don't be... I'm going to get that card, excuse me. I'll take that as the first card. <laughs> Uh, don't be uh, expecting the worst. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so we'll take that first card and the first card is the judgment card. The magician. And the beautiful empress energy. The beautiful temperance card. Overall central energy is the nine of cups. This is a beautiful reading here. The Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So what we've got here is we have got, where will I start, right? The overall central energy here is about your overall contentment. Now, there's going to be a lot of satisfaction coming in. So don't worry about things. Challenges are coming to an end. There's going to be a fair outcome, like we say. Things are going to start to go into your favour. Now, it can be because you're prepared to make decisions here. There's a decision that needs to be made and you're worrying about it. Or you might be worrying about a decision that's coming in here. There's information going to come in. It might be you need to gather more information before you make this judgment call or make this decision. Because there's, you're worrying unnecessarily. Now, it can be change. If we're worrying about change and how we're going to go forward, we're needing to try and take some time out and listen to our intuition here because you're going to make the right decision. There's decisions that definitely need to be made regarding your contentment and happiness. Now, once you've made this decision here, this decision can be made through listening to your intuition. I'm saying once you've made this decision, this decision is going to be about, about you going down a new path. That's what this is. It's about setting new goals for yourself. So it can be worrying. So it's about making a decision here about how you're going to go forward and setting new goals. After a challenging time or after things resolving themselves. Now, your burdens can be lightened by you making this decision most definitely. But what Spirit is saying here is that you need to take time out. You need to sit back here and think about what you've been through. Pamper yourself, heal from the challenges you've been through because you are needing to lighten your load and this will happen. Solutions will come through, issues will be resolved and you will gain enlightenment towards, uh, and you will gain enlightenment and realise which path you need to go down. 
Now, he does a lot of brainstorming here. He's somebody who sits back and reflects on the challenges he's been through and he uses them and he thinks, how am I going to go forward? So it could be brainstorming, it could be healing, you could be recovering from an illness here. It's all spirit saying unnecessary worry. Situations in life have a beginning, a middle and an end. We all go through challenging times, sadly, but it's a growth period and we're learning here. We're sitting back and reflecting. So take time out to pamper yourself. Have a day out. Do something you enjoy because it'll lift your spirits. It'll help you gain enlightenment. But also reflect on what you've learned because this judgment card is going to go in your favour. Now, this could be a legal judgment going in your favour, somebody doing the right thing by you, you realising what your decision is going to be. If you look at this top row, once you make that decision, there's going to be beautiful balance coming in here. Now, this judgment call can be like a deja vu situation, something you've deal been dealing with before and you might decide you're fed up with that now. You're using the knowledge you've gained and what you've been through here to learn and, uh, about the path you want to go down. If this is somebody coming back from your past, use the knowledge you've gained from past experiences and how you're going to make this, this judgment call. Because this is your judgment call here. The universe is trying to help you to make this decision that you're finding difficult. Balance will be restored. Fair outcomes will come. Don't worry unnecessarily because you've got what it takes here. You've got the knowledge and the experience here to make the right decision for you to bring this beautiful balance in. And we can only bring this kind of balance in once we've been through challenges because it's a major arcana card. And it takes patience and time to be able to bring this type of harmony back to your life. So it has been a wee while. You might have been going through something very challenging here. What we need to be doing is we need to be setting new goals, we need to be making this decision, and we need to go forward. Now, this knight is the slowest knight in the pack, the knight of pentacles. And he's somebody who's very deliberate. He takes the time out to plan his way forward. He looks at the detail. He makes sure that when he's going forward and choosing his path, he's done all his research. Now, this, like I say, can be gaining information that will help you make this decision or waiting for the information that's needed. Now, this could be a new job coming forward and you're waiting on that because knights can be people that bring you opportunities here. So this could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy that comes forward or somebody with that in their chart. But there's definitely solutions to your problems. So if this is not a person, take time out if you're signing contracts or anything legal or if it's legal settlements you're looking at here. Make sure you look at the small print and you understand what it is you're signing up for. Because once you make this decision, and you look at them, gather the information and start to move forward, you're going to make the right decision to get onto a path of growth. And there's a win-win situation here. You're going forward, you've got what it takes, the knowledge, the experience, the information here, and you're setting new goals for yourself to be able to go down this path. It's almost like wrapping things up, wrapping up challenges here, or getting the opportunity to do that. And you're setting new goals for yourself here and you're going down a more desired path. So choosing goals that suit you, choosing to put your efforts into things you want to achieve, you're getting to make this decision now that you might have been held back from. And what's happening here is you're going to create beautiful brand new beginnings. There's going to be rebirth and rejuvenation in your life here. Opportunities, it could be for some people, it could be pregnancy. Um, you know, so if you don't want to be pregnant, be careful. But rebirth, rejuvenation, beautiful harmony being restored. The, this Empress energy, she's somebody who who's, comes from love. It's the Venus type energy. And she creates beautiful harmony in her environments and in her life through her choices. So you're using your choices and your experience. It, you're using your experience to make good choices for yourself. And like we've said earlier, the overall energy is going to be that you're going to be very content when you're choosing your path. Very content when this outcome comes or this decision's made. So do your research. Definitely take your time. Don't rush into these things. Don't worry about things. It's unnecessary worry. Listen to your intuition here and it will guide you forward. And this is spirit trying to help you. The angels are trying to connect in with you here. So it could be somebody doing the right thing, like I say, or you doing the right thing. Follow your intuition. Trust. Trust. All will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect and heal you. Trusting the healing powers of our love. We love you more than you will ever know. 
So the angels are definitely trying to connect in with you here. Trust your instinct, trust your judgment and trust in spirit. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.